Okay, guys, I've got a laptop for you, a Lenovo Y520, and the owner brought it to a shop. They quoted him 700 bucks to fix because the main board apparently is dead, um, and uh, he didn't believe that amount, rightfully so, um, and he brought it to me. Now, look how they actually um, put the laptop back to him. So, let's just see. Here's the laptop. This was on, um, well, uh, well, there's Miss Badger. <laughs> this was on, not screwed in. That was kind of a first um, like warning signal when I, when I saw this uh, without the screws, I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then I opened it up and look how it looks. It's like, um, like would you put this back in the hands of a customer this way? Like even if he doesn't want it fixed, I mean, come on, eh, this is, this is not, I mean, at least they kept the screws all here and the RAM like this, I mean, at least it's anti-static somewhat. There's the drive, who knows how much they bank this around. And yeah, I'm just glad that uh, there are no pieces missing or anything. I mean, it looks like it can be put all together again. Um, and I've got here a replacement board. This is the replacement board. It's actually a pretty nice unit. It's a 7700 HQ, 1050 GPU, nice computer. But as you know, dead motherboards, they kind of uh, happen a lot on Lenovo's, <laughs> at least from my experience, but they're usually quite easy to fix. Um, you know, unlike other brands. So they also did a big no-no, they didn't disconnect the battery. Like, yes, I think the first thing you should do. So let's do that. I mean, not does it matter anyway in this board, but still. Um, and is this battery screwed in? Yeah, it's screwed in. We will get it fixed, guys. This looks to be savable, no problem. So what I'll do first, I think disconnect all the cables and then remove the heatsink. So here is the heatsink. Pretty easy to remove. It's a little dirty, but you know, it's not surprising really. It happens all the time. We'll uh, of course renew the thermal paste. Uh, but still got a long way to go. Here is the fan. Oh my God. <laughs> This can't really cool all that much. It's caked in crap like this. Um, and I think I removed all the cables. What also uh, made me a little worried is that there is nothing connected here and I can't really make sense of what would go here. It makes me a little worried. Maybe there's just nothing at all, I don't know. Maybe it's like a higher end model or something. Okay, got speakers loosened up. Um, and now we are easily accessible here at the main board. So that looks like it wants to come right out. Although there is still one um, cable. I think we're gonna swing it to this side and then unhook it. And then it's ready to go for the new board. It is number matching here. That is good. Um, so that should cause no issues. And I will take the time here uh, and actually clean this fan a bit as best as I can. Probably just go at it with a, with a Hoover. I know it's kind of a hardcore solution, but it does work pretty well. And now we don't have any fragile parts or something like loose parts, which can be sucked in. So I think that's what we will do. It's kind of an you know, unconventional method, but you know, same here. I mean, this looks okay, but not great. Then we'll, we'll uh, install a new board, clean off this old thermal paste and um, yeah, reassemble this guy and see if it boots. I know I keep saying it all the time, but I love working on Lenovo's. Uh, it was so easy to replace this board. Like, um, 
matter of minutes. I mean, it has been pre disassembled for me, as you saw, but still not a big deal at all. Here's the old board. And I don't think we'll need anything from this. I've got this cable hooked up. That's an important one not to forget because that's on the underside. The rest are all on the front. Here is a cable, I think, caught. Yeah, we'll have to dig this out here. Yeah. There we go. I, as you can see, vacuumed the fan and looks much better. I mean, we're not gonna go to Hugh Jeffrey's level of, uh, you know, restoring this, but uh, I mean, this is much better than before. And so, yeah, we'll screw the board back in with the four screws. Then I can place the fan back and the cooler with the new thermal base, then put in the RAM and hook everything up. Oh, and install the drive. And then we should be good. Okay, update, looks much more complete, right? Got the RAM installed, got the board all screwed in. I've got all the cables hooked up and I finally figured out what this is. This is a M SATA drive. There you go, an NVMe. PCIe 128 gig drive that plugs in here. It's a pretty sweet machine. I was kind of wondering like that this only has a hard drive, but no, that has it as a storage drive and this is the boot drive. So pretty cool machine. Um, I also found this, which is another battery. Uh, I don't know guys, but I don't think we'll need that. Only this, but I mean, this is like a, you know, from a desktop PC, sorta. Hmm, I don't know what it's doing there, but this for sure goes here, plugs in there, all good. So uh, I'll now actually uh, do the thermal paste job because we're already at the point where I can put the cooler back on, which is a really beefy cooler, look at that. I still don't know about the, about the speakers, which are by Harman, yeah. I don't know how they get screwed in, but could be really that they, these are held in by the case screw. And yeah, next step for me is put the NVMe in and then puzzle here, here in the wireless card, which goes here. The board seems to be all okay, seems to be all correct. Um, not sure if they saved the screw for this little guy because that's usually a different type and I don't see it anywhere. So we'll have to do something also same for the drive here. They don't have the screws for that anymore, but that's something we can figure out. I have plenty of replacement screws. And yeah, got it all done without removing the battery. Just made sure that they didn't tinker with any of this. And now let's finish it. Okay, it's starting to look more and more like a computer again. Here is, I think, everything installed. I put new thermal paste in, nice new Arctic, and installed this shield, installed the uh, MSATA, connected battery. Just do the checkups here. This is all connected. Here's the time battery, which I have to kind of glue down a little bit because this keeps flying around in there. Um, Wireless car, which is hopefully right with the connectors. Then this one, this one. Yeah, I mean, looks okay. It looks complete to me. So I'll just slap the back on because it's not a big deal if I have to take it back off for some reason. But, um, you know, just to make it complete. And uh, I don't think we have enough screws for the back, but I think I can organize myself some from my screws, so already got two here because they didn't include uh, the ones for the wireless card and also here for the hard drive I stole some. So yeah, but looking good, looking complete. All right, let's seal it up. That's actually pretty easy. Just put this on and there we go. Needs to latch into place. And now screwed in, and that should be it. 
So I don't think it has a charge. Um, no, completely dead. Oh no. That is, that is maybe a dead battery. I don't know guys what this code means. Maybe you know that, uh, but it does boot, which it didn't do previously. So we fixed it, hooray. Uh, the battery is probably dead because the owner said it's been laying around for half a year and so yeah that's pretty much does this with batteries but uh, there we go um, booted right back up although uh, maybe charge it back up all right almost done here we are missing some screws though as expected we're missing one two three or well four so in total we're missing three of uh, screw of this length so i'm gonna hop over to my screw collection here and hope that i'll find some and here we are another fixed lenovo fully working no problems at all so that makes me happy makes the customer happy and we saved another machine from the scrap. So, shows again. If you have a Lenovo and it's broken, I'll happily work on it. It's always a pleasure and easy, even though this has been pretty much butchered and, you know, tinkered with and just, it's been a mess. Look at it, it's perfectly back together now. So, yeah, that was a pretty cool repair.